welcome, 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 welcome. So listen, we are going to talk about this super blood full moon in the total lunar eclipse. Okay? I'm going to break some things down and then we're going to give you some steps, guys. Okay? I did write some stuff down. Um, super important stuff to know, to be aware of. Okay? Um, transformation. It, it, it's big on transformation right now. Okay? This is what this is here to do. That looked really funny. I hope my face isn't like deformed. Um, let me just get rid of this. So, oh, thank you. What just happened? Are you still there? Hold on. Where'd you just go? Did I lose you? You can probably see me and I can't find you. So hold up, buttercups. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where's my photo booth? Guys, I cannot stand Apple products. Okay, so I was here the whole time by just like, do 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 right? Of course I was. Alright, so let's talk about this. It's going to happen January. January 21st, okay? It talks about pers personal pathways opening up. What I'm going to do is kind of just go down my list with you briefly. And then we'll talk about it, okay? So, transformation, personal pathways, okay? The awakenings, everything I was talking about. And not to mention, before I forget, the video I did yesterday, right? Yeah, so it was. It ended up being the 999. That's all just, uh, like, figuring out, like, disqu distinguishing between the weak and the, and the strong, you know? Letting things complete ending cycles, starting new. There was people walking away from people in that video, okay? Um, I wanted to mention that at the end. I thought about coming back on. I'm like, nah, it's fine as it is, but there is people leaving other people to go to other people. So we'll get into that too, okay? But this is, I've been talking about this awakening for weeks, okay? We're going to talk about that too. They pretty much call this a sky war, okay? I will get into that too. Um, endings, beginnings. So all the seeds that you've already planted, if you were brave enough to plant, I should say, are going to start coming into fruition, okay? Which means joy, happy, stability. These seeds are going to start flourishing. It literally, where these planets are right now, they're trying to change humanity, ladies and gents. Letting this generation unfold like earth angels, everything you can think of, th this is it. Okay. Um, it's like instant manifestation right now. Um, lots and lots of endings, programs crashing. Um, it's just, it's freeing the generations. Um, basically what you agreed to when you, when you were born, like when you came here on earth, what you agreed to is now going to unfold. Okay, it, it's one of those types of transformations that when I told you these awakenings were no joke, they're no joke. Okay, um, so just watch them unfold. Don't don't panic. All right, it, it's like a it's a clean start. Like I say, clean slate. Okay, um, real important to cleanse yourselves with light magic a lot, light protectors that type of things. Okay, protect. Cleanse and protect your home, your workspace, your vehicles, that type of stuff. Just get away, get out of, get negative energy out, that type of stuff, okay? Um, do your rituals like you would normally do. Ask your angels, ask your guides, ask whomever you ask to, to help you out. Um, try to fear nothing. I know that's like next to impossible, but try, okay? We are like little dots of lights just walking on earth guys okay so we're like little magnets all right so be careful um be level-headed there's gonna be a lot of hate there's gonna be a lot of the hate is is because of the confusion it's either gonna be negative or positive vibes it, it's up to you on how you want to vibe okay so paths are gonna start opening magic happens um 
meaning like anything spiritual, what you do, what you manifest, anything you want to call magic, it's magic. Um, the competition that I was seeing on the board, that's going to start to fade away. It's basically breaking, breaking the programs, waking up, um, making sure you're getting enough rest. Um, people from the past are going to start coming around, but that's, that's normal. Okay. Um, that kind of stuff. I can't tell if my nose was running. I'm sitting in the corner. It's chilly. Um, breaking boundaries, staying true to you, letting things fade out. And what's, what's important too is all the takers that have given and given and given, they're going to have enough. It's like, they're just going to, all of a sudden, they're just going to be like, they're going to realize what the givers were giving, okay? And the givers are going to, at that point, kind of be like, things are going to subside. And you're going to, like, say to yourself, like, why did I even want that? Or why was I even doing that? Or, like, obsessive traits, that type of stuff. We'll talk about that, too. All right? Um, just make sure you're you're staying as true and real as you can, Okay? You having your own courage moving forward. Um, this is the second eclipse of the year. So, and in January, okay? So, because the full moon is going into Leo, it's unexpected events. It's, it's all about love. It's all about compassion, connecting to the divine, shining light, that type of stuff. So, it's going to be great energy. But then the new moon goes into Aquarius, okay, which is ruled by Uranus. Again, unpredictable. But it's it's doing that acting versus sitting, okay? Aquarius is, you know, it's, it's all about freedom. It rules friendships, groups, communication, that type of stuff, um... Reaching your goals, your inner genius coming out type thing. Going out, letting the energy flow through you. That kind of stuff, okay? Being rambunctious. Um, the thing about the Leo energy, it's lots of, um, lots of healing. We've been talking about that. Lots of love, that type of stuff. Um, if you're in a relationship, those are going to get better. Um, addictions are being broken right now, but we're going to touch base on detoxing. Okay. Um, it can be a little frustrating energy. Okay. Just try to remain positive. You know, Saturn, <sighs> when Saturn's been here and I've been talking about time, Saturn rules time. Okay. And Saturn's saying it's, it's time for these transformations. It's, it's time for things to kick in. All right. Um, Venus is merging into Sag, which Jupiter rules Sag, okay? So that's going to be like for the next year, and that's Jupiter's home, and who doesn't like being home? It's, it's comfy, you know? So it, it's great, all right? Um, where the planets are lining up to, like, their conjunctions, it's like 15 degrees, and the 15 is the number of love, it's the number of spiritual joy, that type of stuff. So it's going to be great energy, but it's very, um, can be very intense energy. Okay. That is for sure. Um, I have so much, but let's start talking about detoxing. Okay. Now is the, what cards do I want to use? Now is a great time to start detoxing. Um, Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Any type of cleansing. Um, don't forget to do, like, your your moon rituals. If you do moon rituals, you don't need to. Um, don't forget about your crystals. You can put them in the moon. If you don't like, like, your clear quartz, so if you have any type of any type of clear quartz, okay, um, some people prefer not to put them in the window because it, it, um, what is it called? Well, I forget what it's called, but you can see, like, I, I talk about it all the time, like, the, it looks like the vibration. I don't know why I space every time, like, and when I bought this, it was completely clear, okay? Um, see? what it does you can see like the vibrations um 
So it's pretty cool. So if you don't want that type of look, God, what is it called? I can't believe I'm spacing it. Then don't put them in the windows. Crystals love cool water. Running them in the cool water is all a crystal needs to be happy, okay? Um, crystals are very healing, guys. I, I have lots of them. But... Uh, what is this? Sorry, it's connected to my daughter's phone. Where did my camera go? I lost my work phone. Good, you're still here. I lost my work phone, and um, so this computer I hooked up to her Apple ID. Great, right? So I'm gonna have to take care of that. Although I don't think I can fix that now. I don't know how that works, but. You can detox with crystals. You can detox with cleansing things. You can, there's all sorts of ways. A lot of people right now are detoxing with plants, okay, um, which is great. It really depends on what type of <sighs> cleansing you want to do. Um, it is popular right now, the, the shaman cleansings, that kind of stuff. Just being um, mindful what you're putting in your body. It is that type of energy where all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, well, I'm eating too much sugar and I want to stop eating sugar because of X, Y, and Z. It's it's just kind of like out of the blue, like more, more aware of what you're putting in your body, that type of stuff. Um, let's talk about, gosh, there's so much to talk about. Do you realize when I was lying in bed last night for like a good hour? I literally had a conversation with you, and now it's just like, where did everything go? Um, but I mentioned a lot of things, especially that video yesterday, endings, new beginnings. A lot of people, you know how I always am kind of like, it drives me nuts when people get out of relationships and go to other relationships. Well, that's happening for a reason, because the divine is playing part of this. This is that energy where we just talked about what it is you signed up for. Okay, um, now comes into fruition whether you want it to or not. So it's how are you going to handle it, your next stage, because the more accepting you are of what direction you need to go in, the more easily you're going to be able to glide through this. Okay, if you're not willing to glide through this, it is going to be very, very challenging energy for you guys. Because um, literally what your soul signed up for is now about to come into fruition all right those who are brave enough to plant those seeds that we talked about oh what are you doing upside down baby i'm sorry those that were brave enough to plant those seeds that we were talking about um those are going to start blooming okay which is beautiful but your fears are going to kick in too all right um which is okay guys you just gotta Go with the flow, okay? I understand a lot of people are, I mean, this purging is huge right now. Crying. Um, and you're understanding why. But you're purging to the point where, say you had an obsession or an addiction, okay? Slowly going to start going away because it's going to be like that energy where it's like, why was I doing that? Um, you're gonna you're gonna realize things, all right. It's that energy where it talks about um, it's like stuck. Things will come to your attention, okay. Things that you thought would not come to your attention. Um, and all of a sudden you're going to be like, why was I doing that? I don't want to do that. You're just going to stop doing it. Like old habits will just slowly fade away, which is fantastic. Okay. Um, the purging is huge. I, I can't stress enough that you have to be so positive in this next week of this energy. Okay. Especially this weekend. It's very loving energy. It's very courageous energy. Um, you got to remember, 
because Sag is in Venus too. Well, you get not not only that, okay, even Leo being a fire sign. A lot of people relate it to being like quick energy, but yeah, but it's it's lighting your own fire. You know, letting the mysterious webs just lead you, being okay with not knowing where you're going next, which is very hard for some people to do, okay? Um, but it's that type of energy. You're going to get pushed. So say you were having, say you were having difficulties with, you know, calling somebody 20 times a day like an obsession, okay, and person's ignoring you, or it goes into voicemail, or you're blocked, or whatever the case may be, slowly, that's just going to leave you, which is, which is great, because, but it's, it's going to leave you more than just like, oh great, it's going to leave me, and it's going to, it is going to leave you just like that, you're not even going to question why you were kind of doing it, you just know it's time to move on, it's like one of those energies where, you really don't even have to partake. You need to partake and realize what happens, but like, it's gonna be a lot easier than you think it is. It's gonna be like, okay. And then like a, a couple months down the road, you're gonna be like, remember when I used to do this? Remember when I used to do that? Like, oh my God, like, thank God, you know? But you're gonna be noticing a lot of people's energy shifts, a lot of people's attitudes. This is a drastic change. This energy is, all about the awakening and like I said not too many people are talking about it with these with this energy and the eclipse and this full moon this is about what it is you signed up for whatever seeds you planted whether you want them now or not here they come ready or not here they come you can't hide okay that's a thing so it's time for things to be like bountiful, all right? Um, it, it's coming in whether you want it or not. So I think it's a great thing. A lot of things are ending. A lot of relationships are ending. Um, getting on your divine purpose. There's just there's no way around it. Okay, that it's just there's not. So go with it. Accept it. Um, a lot of people, a lot of past people are coming back into people's lives to clear things up. There's been a lot of growth between you and this other person. Some are going to accept it and some are not, okay? Some are going to be like, no, thank you, okay? Um, what type of energy are we working with the next couple of weeks? I'm not going to do, I'm going to still talk to you guys, but I'm not going to do... Um, a weekend energy because this is kind of the weekend energy all right with this eclipse so I guarantee you're already feeling it I personally with full moons tend to feel the energy well I, I feel the energy anyway beforehand but meaning like the cleansing the purging usually comes afterwards but it already hit me okay um so I guarantee it's already been hitting some of you guys trying to figure out why do I feel like this, why I'm so upset, why I'm so sad. Perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Okay. Um, it's, it's going to be easier. Let me put it this way. It's going to be easier if you just allow the purging. Okay. Because... If you just let it unfold and see what happens, just just allow it, okay? Don't get angry in between. It's going to be very intense energy where you're going to feel anger. You're going to feel sorrow. You're going to feel confusion. You're going to you feel like your world's effing crumbling, okay? Not knowing where you're going. A sense of urgency, that type of thing. Whew, don't worry about it. <laughs> let it come in and let it go out, okay? Um... I'm just, I'm looking at these cards, the high priestess came out and then you got the underworld and the high priestess is like, it's just distracting me, it's pulling me. The high priestess is all about letting that mysterious web unfold, okay, because it's, it's divine intervention, it's, you can't stop it. And then you have the underworld, okay, so it's kind of like, which and in the middle, you the ace of swords, so it's kind of like that Aquarius energy, which... 
what are you going to allow to happen? Are you going to stay strong or are you going to let the weak take you down? Okay, so be careful who you're, you're coming around to, okay, who you're hanging out with. Lots of friendships are going to be ending, lots of relationships, family things are going to come back into fruition. Meaning like, if you wanted to heal certain things, you're going to have no choice to address a whole bunch of karma. When I tell you, this is like, I forget what like people, like religious people, like, not like the Armageddon, but like, it's huge, okay? It's the biblical stuff, all right? So that I try to remain biased so I don't really go into, okay? But I, but I know a lot of people, like, panic. It's the end of the world. Guys, it's not going to be the end of the world, okay? But it is the end of an era. We're stepping into a new era, okay? This is not the average, let's make a New Year's revolution. resolution. I've been saying that for weeks now. It, it's not even like that. I'm telling you, it's, it's wiping out what no longer serves us. If you want to... If you decide to stay weak, it's like the battle of the weak and the strong, then you will get sucked into the underworld. And, and that's it. Not as a scary thing, but that's a very depressive, dark shadowing, okay? You got to think, like, the way where the moons come in and out, the weather changes, all that stuff, it gets darker, it gets lighter, it gets darker. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're in a lot of darker energy right now, and that plays a factor, too. It's like a, it's a sky war, okay? It's... The battle of the skies, the stars, the galaxies, all that stuff right now. The dark and the light, all right? Who, who's going where? Because everything we signed up for, some of you signed up for the dark. Some of you signed up to play that weak person, okay? Because maybe in a different life, you weren't able to, you haven't experienced that part of your life yet. See what I'm saying? So it, it's going to get tricky and complicated. You can have best friends and all of a sudden, like two weeks later you're like what the fuck happened to Harry or Harry Harry and oh what happened to Lisa and because it, it's just like that it takes you okay um it, it's gonna take you so be smart choose wisely okay don't try to fight what's happening with us I just saw two 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 don't try to fight Okay, because it really is the battle of the skies right now, guys. And I was going to say that those who don't believe, there's not too many of you that don't believe that watch this, but like friends, family, co-workers, you're going to start experiencing it, seeing it, drastic changes, okay? Um, breaking conditioning, breaking programming, moving forward. So just be real careful this is owning your own truth and it, it's like with the with the high priestess here it's 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 the battle of the of the wars the religious wars spiritual wars okay what's written in the book of destiny that's your path that we just spoke about you don't have an option the gates like the people the gatekeepers they're they're waiting they're waiting to scoop you up okay you can have a bad day don't worry bad day here and there i, I talked about that the other day but don't resist what's actually physically happening, okay? Um, it will be a no-good scenario for you. The Ace of Swords is right in the middle. Use that Aquarian energy, okay? Make the right decisions. A lot of people don't know how to go to the unknown. And it's not only that. A lot of people fear the unknown, okay? Leo is courageous energy. It's that, it's that lion. It's also compassion. But... So going towards something courageously, holding that little fear that you have, but sucking it up and 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 putting taking that fear and turning it into compassion and looking at things differently. I can't tell you how important it is right now for your vibration, your energy, the the negativity into positive under positivity. I'm telling you, this is this is overnight stuff. This is like overnight maggot, maggot, maggot magic. Your life can change drastically just like that. Things can come crashing down or or, or things are going to build lightning speed, okay? I'm talking psh, just like that. Like as it, when you win the lottery, psh, just like that. Someone passes away, psh, just like that, taken from you. You know what I'm saying? So 
It's that type of energy. Or somebody just like disappears out of your life. Why? Because they belong. It's their path to be in the underworld. Okay. So here's that rebirth and thought. This is this is exactly what I just explained to you. Make sure your thoughts are targeted. Okay. I'm I'm not kidding. Like there's that Leo son. All right. And it's like, I can't tell you how important those thoughts are. All right. So look at how this is going. Okay. It's the sun. This person's looking towards the future, right? Well, it depends on how the screen is for you guys. But the bird is soaring this way. So if you're going to think about the past, make sure you're turning that into positivity. Anything that was negative, turn into positivity. Because it is going to be a little hard to release the past. But if you're not going to do it, they're going to make sure the other person does it. So say you're in a relationship and then all of a sudden it's like, what the F? Like this person just is up, dead silence, ghost you, doesn't want to talk to you, decides I can't do this no more. Just like that. And, you know, it is just like that. And I think about whatever happened with me and my ex-husband. It was like kind of like no explanation. Yeah, we had our ups and downs. But like when I look back, guys... There was a full moon, there was a, and there was an eclipse. It was one of those energies where you need to be where you need to be. And if there's anybody in the way stopping it, they're going to make sure it's stopped. Okay? When people go silent on you and it's like, did you die? Did you fall off the face of the earth? You know, people are going through transformations. They'll ignore you. And sometimes that other person is programmed not to even know who the F you are anymore. Like, your number doesn't exist they have the energy to swipe that number out of your phone and erase memories, okay? It's programming. Whatever you signed up for is what you have to go towards. If you're going to fight it, you're going to end up in the underworld, okay? Depress depression, being in the same state of mind, not growing, being sad, sorrow. You might have a few weeks here and there, a few one-night stands here and there a few X, Y, Zs, but you won't be happy. And that's even if they give you the little extras. I'm not playing, okay? It is time for rebirth. It is not an option. It is time to speak your truth, live in your truth. It is time for you to be who you are. It is time for you to put those thoughts into action, those dreams into action. Okay? I didn't clarify the underworld yet because only two came out. But <clears throat> this is what this is saying. It, it's written in the stars. <sighs> That's way too many. It, it's unavoidable. Okay? Um... People are going to start seeing things, having visions, all right? It's, yeah. Whoo-wee! You know how caught, and it's so ironic, I never noticed it. You know how I always say, you better get real comfy near that stone? Look at with the underworld. You will be defeated. This, this is not, this is not let's mess around energy. I, I'm not, I have not been playing with you guys. I've been telling you honestly what's going to happen. When I say... Keep giving court a couple weeks to adjust because my life is going to change drastically. I got the goosebumps. Drastically. In two weeks from now, you're going to be like, what the? It's going to be a good thing. But you're literally going to watch it unfold. You've been watching me unfold for the last year anyway. Okay? Just like that. Okay? And it's same for you. Okay? You've been in a relationship. All of a sudden, next thing you know, you wake up the next day, you got a fucking ring on your finger. And your family's like, you've known this guy for two months. Or you've known this guy for two weeks. This is who I'm supposed to be with. You just have that. You just know. Okay? And it's funny because the high priestess, look at the sun right above our head too in the rebirth. It is so ironic how these cards are flowing. It, it, it really is. Look at that. It's like everything I'm talking about is just clarifying so you guys can see what it looks like through a photo. Because for some reason, a lot of you guys, that's how you relate, okay? A lot of us readers, we don't need cards. 
but it it's nice to have that the image the visual okay so if visuals help create your own visual okay so this is huge 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 life altering energy that is stepping in but it's beautiful energy it's energetic it's it's loving it's it's compassion it's being compatible it's it's the out of this world energy like wow it's that passion comes rushing back okay like you meet somebody brand new and, and now all these triggers yeah they're gonna kick in but they're gonna be a lot easier for you to just dismiss okay um but that passion that you think you lost will come back. You'll have a thought and you'll be like, oh, shit. Like, really? You know, those thoughts that you thought maybe wouldn't come back or maybe you thought you wouldn't have that type of feeling again. Or maybe you thought, "Why? Well, I never thought that person would come back into my life and I would feel that way. You know, because I always say like, if my ex or certain people came back into my life, there, there's no way and did it. Well, you don't really know with this certain energy on how that works. Now, don't panic. Don't worry. Especially if the girlfriend's watching. Don't worry, girlfriend. I don't want him. He's all yours. <laughs> but I'm using that for an example, okay? That's how drastic that shit shifts. So if somebody's having a bad relationship, it's about to get way better, okay? But don't ignore the energy. Don't ignore what comes to your brain. Okay. It's time to solve problems. Think things through. Act on things. Follow things out. Okay. Um, it is going to be a little bit, let me put these back and get another one. It's, it is going to be a little bit of frustrating energy. You're going to be perfectly okay. It's going to be, it's going to be more about the purging. Okay. Um, what type of energy is coming at us for new? Actually, what type of energy is coming at us for past? Because a lot of the past is coming in new. Want to know why? Because you'd be like, ah, people don't change. I'm narcissists, all that things, they're fading away. They're not going to be as narcissistic. They're going to realize their faults, their mistakes. I'm telling you, because Why? Because whatever we signed up for. So you could know this very pleasant person or a co-worker, okay? And then all of a sudden, it was the sweetest person. And all of a sudden, what a narcissist. Like, what an ass. People start like, why? Because they chose the other way. They chose the underworld. It's, it's just they're part of their life, okay? So we have the Six of Cups. So here's, here's that past that I was talking about. It's the memories. It's the nostalgia. It's past lives. People coming in from the past that are going to be like, brand new say you were dealing with a narcissist and then all of a sudden I'm not that person anymore and they're in here and then your face and they're crying and they're telling you whether they're crying or not but like you're gonna feel it in your soul that they're speaking to you and you might want to give it a second chance and people on the outside family member friends are gonna be like what are you doing like, what do you, you're like, oh, this person's changed and they're gonna be like this person, those people like that don't change. Now nah, they do. They do, and they're about to, okay? You watch. Just watch it unfold, okay? You don't you don't have to believe necessarily like to uh, 100% with me. You don't have to agree, but I'm telling you, you're just, you're going to watch it happen, and you're going to be amazed, okay? But it works the opposite way, too. People you were dealing with that were amazing can turn into a major beast. Why? Because they signed up for beast mode, I guess, you know, it's that liberating independent energy. It's the integrity. It's all of a sudden it's like, who the fuck are you? You don't need me for X, Y, Z. So somebody that was very codependent on you, type of situations like that, they're going to flip flop some, some of them. Okay. So a lot of people have been worried too. Okay. Because this, a king of wands, when a king of wands comes in, king of wands, takes action so a lot of people have been saying to me we got meditation okay this is people really going within pay attention to your dreams right now they're no joke whether they're violent they're happy they're sad they're scary pay attention to them it's part of your blueprint you, you might experience something like that and i know you don't want to especially if it's a scare I, my dreams have been a violence the planes have been involved 
um, landing planes, landing in water, but people getting out safely, but like very last minute, I'm telling you, I, I don't like it. Okay. So it's probably something that's going to come into fruition. Um, fights, violent fights. Um, like in one of my dreams the other night, two girls and it was guys too. Brutally fighting, battling, laying on the ground, and people were taking pictures. And I stepped in front of them and I was like, What are you doing? Why are we taking pictures of a girl that was just beat down? It was just, it was very traumatic, but it's like, I don't know if it's like symbolic, meaning like, okay, because it wasn't me, but meaning like, if you've been beat down, not physically, well, physically, mentally type thing. This is that that's that rebirth we were talking about. It could be something just like that, okay? Or it can be just be talking about an ugly violence. War is coming, guys, okay? Um, do I think it's gonna end the world? No, <laughs> no, but it, it's gonna be violent, okay? It's gonna be brutal. It's gonna take a while for things to balance out again, all right? That's what happens when there's such a drastic shift. Plates in that in the universe, galaxy, planets. <sighs> It's, it's a whole nother video, but like, they're all moving, okay? Um, so when I tell you, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to your dreams, it, it's linked to your path somehow, okay? So I don't know if I'm seeing all this stuff because now I'm starting to predict things, okay? Chances are, okay, it's, it's, it's basically talking about violence and malfunctioning, te technology malfunctioning, you know, program programming's crashing, okay? Um, that type of stuff. I don't think that the stock market's going to crash or anything. Like, I feel like it's just going to, it's going to be, shoom, okay? But, like, it's just, it's a lot of things, okay? So pay attention to your dreams. Meditate on this person, too. Some of you are, you can't, if some of you, you got people in your head and you're like, why the fuck are you back in my head? Well, because it's your destiny. It's your karma. It's your written path. You don't have a choice. Go within and meditate. Okay. But back to the king. A lot of people, it's like that whole say yeah, that king was a narcissist. Kings take, king of wands takes action, action. A lot of people are worried about it. But the thing that people don't really like about the king of wands, and I do find frustrating too, is they take action and they step in when they want to. That could be a good thing or it can be a bad thing depending on what scenario. So if somebody just strolls back into your life, why? Because you thought it was time, you know? But that, just hear them out, man or female, man or female, yeah. Just hear them out because people are getting on the path, okay? Um, if, if somebody comes back around and you realize they really haven't changed, you guys aren't having a heart-to-heart, -heart, you're not having a, your souls aren't connecting, fucking see it later. Common sense, okay? Um, but definitely pay attention to those dreams. It's time to be a warrior. I'm not playing. All right. I just, I just almost went like cheerleading beast mode on you. Okay. Warrior, warrior style, ninja style. Okay. Very, very important. The queen of cups. It's that, it's that intuition. It's the knowledge. It's the inner knowing. It's the, it's that compassion. It's that Leo lioness compassion. But she she's looking up. This is this is spiritual too. It's it's being exhausted, but knowing. Okay, so this is talking about this woman knowing the past is coming back around. All right, maybe through meditation, relaxation, spirit spiritualization. Did I just make up a word? Okay, because I asked about the past. So this woman knows. Okay, so this is like for the past coming back. Go within. What is your what does your soul say at the bottom of the deck? It's that spirituality. It's that Ace of Cups that we just talked about. She's holding it. She knows. She's no joke. He or she. But regarding the past, you have the inner knowing. If you've been dreaming about somebody from the past, I guarantee that person's coming back. Even if you're in a situation where you're in a relationship, it doesn't matter. You can be in a marriage. This person's coming back. If they're meant to be in your life, you're stepping out of your marriage to be with somebody. And I got the goosebumps. I'm not kidding. That's, that's how it's going to work. If you guys are in a happy marriage right now and you're supposed to be together, 
that relationship's going to get a lot better, okay? Let's look what's coming in for brand new. I don't think it's going to be triggered. I don't think it's going to be that rough of a trigger. I think we made it. I think we kind of got through that rough spot. It's not going to be easy. Don't get me wrong, okay? But that's that lovers, all right? Who, and this is that bond you already have. It's celebration. Even See, even this person being brand new, that's the bond you're going to have. Okay, because why? It's written in the stars. There's that shaman. And it's funny because I, I was just looking at it with that wolf. And I've been dreaming about wolves. I've been talking about that for a while. Okay. But it's those plants too. It's that plant, plant medicine. The shaman like to speak to plants. Connecting with plants. Connecting with sage. Because plants speak. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Because it, it's a thing when you connect to mother nature. Okay. It's very important to plant trees right now too. All right. If you got the property, plant trees, please. Um, it's the love. See, it's, it's forced. And I keep thinking about like how we were just talking about marriages. It, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's forced. There, there's no way out of it. If, even if you beg and plead and cry and you tell this person, I, you know, you get, you're dramatic and Oh, I'll kill myself. Or people go to those extents, okay? It's, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter. This person is still going to up and leave you. And I know it sucks and it's hard for those in that situation. You can't stop this. You can't. And if you get yourself in that dark place by having negative thoughts like that, you will go to that dark place. It will be a very harsh lesson because this is divine intervention. You can't stop it. So even if you're texting people like crazy right now, you're either going to realize to yourself, like say you went back to the past and you backtracked a little bit, but there's still growth. Say you've been with me for a year and you backtracked a little bit and you started texting and reaching out. You went through the whole same behavior that you used to do and you, and you literally have that epiphany like, what the fuck? I've been doing that? I went back to that? It was just a final wrap up. Okay. This person is coming whether they like it or not. It's, it's, it's that, it's that force. It's, it's the blueprint. Okay. It's just a matter of what you guys end up doing with it is the bottom line. Okay. Um, you will, in the beginning, it's going to be really rocky, really, really rocky. I'm picturing like jagged rocks at a beach. It's, it can slice you. It can hurt you. But within months, you're going to understand your purpose. It's, it's going to be that love, that celebration, that that connection. And it's it, the lovers is a six. It's like the six of cups. It's those two sixes that have been coming in very powerfully lately. And not to mention this is a seven, which is all about your life path. It is, it's, you don't have an option. So whether it's new or it's something ending, it was meant to come together. It's in your blueprint. There is no way around it. Okay? This is, this is that no joke energy, guys. Okay, so it's pretty powerful revolutions, pretty powerful insight. Okay, this is what you're gonna start experiencing. So let's pull. Hmm. A lot of your children right now too. Are leaving home, leaving the nest, and it's it's going to be so random and so out of the blue. Okay, I had a dream that my kids probably won't like it, but I had a dream that um within a couple weeks, all of a sudden, I just up and put my kids in private school. And I got the goosebumps, like just like that. Do you think they're going to be happy with me? So not only is your life going to change, your children's life is drastically about to change. Okay, so. Believe. Stay true to you. Have faith. Okay. Let's see what else we got. It took a very long time for things to align. To see things. To see things through. See things out. Okay. Um, 
just like that. It's going to be some, it's guys, it's going to be hot. It's not going to be like an easy change. Okay. But it's going to be a very beneficial change. It's, it's one that you should just accept and go with. Okay. You can't, you can't force it, but the divine sure is buckle. Okay. So just sit back and, and watch shit unfold. Chill out. Take a, take a, a chill pill. Okay, the five of, five of swords, five of pence, and the ten of swords. This talks about delusionary energy. That there's nothing you can do about this. It, there's going to be restrictions. Okay, this is what I was talking. It's kind of like what I was just talking about. Where don't try to force it yourself because the divine's already forcing it. Okay, so it's kind of like anything that you you want back that. <sighs> Just stuff's going to stop being restricted in your life, no matter what you think it is. You probably think it's like an illusionary or it's going to come back. We're switching up scenarios. I don't think it just happens. I, I jump, okay, because I'm, I'm looking at the cards. But meaning like, no, it doesn't even have to be a relationship. It's just something that's been restricted. Um, maybe a restricted unit within your profession, a job. You need a special badge to get through special doors. You know what I mean? Like things that have been restricted that you thought you would never see, you're about to get permission you're about to get that badge you're about you know what i'm saying like stuff like that it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship it can be any aspect of your life okay where you're gonna be like what okay because that restriction is going to be over and others you're, you're just gonna be in disbelief because the way it came out so some the restriction will be over you're gonna have that access green light go okay others you're gonna be like what and it's just freaking gone, okay? It's that energy too. I'm just pulling random, random reads, random things, so you can realize what's actually happening. It's, this is drastic. It's a brand new you. Oh, one of those, okay? I've been doing that a lot too. Messing with my kids. So things that have been kind of slow and just kind of like puts in. You might as well just make shit easy on you. If you've been trying to avoid anything, just let it let it flow. Let it come in. Let it see where it takes you. Okay? It's the best thing you can do. Prudence. You got the seven of discs. So this is basically whatever you invested your time in, it's it's already flourished, especially in like the 4D, the 7D for those who know about the other dimensions. It's already alive, especially the 4D, 5D is already alive, okay? Um, it's a thing. You've already been communicating. You're already together. That's why people... When people... It, it's weird. So, so for me, I can understand it. When I always said I had a spiritual relationship with my twin, people were like, that makes no sense. How did you have a relationship with somebody when you don't have a relationship here? It is already together in a different dimension. It's already together. That's why I pay attention to your dreams because now it's... Now it's coming into fruition into the 3D, okay? It's, it's time to put everywhere... Everyone where it needs to be. Archangels are coming to... I know it might sound crazy to some of you and make a lot of sense to others, others, but earth angels, things like that. Everything that at one point wasn't allowed to come together in the 3D, they're now allowing to come together, not to meet your needs, to meet their needs. Please understand that. It's a bigger purpose. It's not just to have this person back in your life. You guys have to... There's something you have to do, okay? And you will create it within this year. It's like the 21st century. Okay, it's the universal 21. Okay, the 21, it's the year and it's the, it's the spiritual meaning of truth. Okay, so for those who are connected to the number 21 and you never knew why, it's the true you. It's the, you're about to, you're about to find out. Okay, and 15. So if you've been, your whole life you've been connected to 21 and 15, it's time. This is definitely your time. It's definitely everybody's time. No matter no matter what. Alright. So here's that some people are regretting. Some people are gonna start regretting what they didn't invest time into. Because now you're not gonna have a choice to have it back. You don't you don't get to have back what you thought at one point you could have back whenever you pleased. It's not gonna work that way either. Oh, I can have that one back, or I can have that thing back whenever I want. Um no, you can't. In the first read, I said it was the high priestess, right? 
could have sworn I said that, but he has the high priestess and not the same cut. So now I got to dig through because at the bottom of the deck, see, you, the thing that you think you can't, the thing that you think you thought you could have, you can't. It's taken from you. You will hold that regret. It's part of one of your lessons. So some of your twins, some of your life partners, some of that stuff, they don't get you. And I know that might be sad for you, but trust me, the new that's coming in, you're going to be like, I had a twin? I had a twinsy? You think it won't happen. I can't, t I can't tell you enough for all my clients that know what I'm talking about and you chose the new and, and all of a sudden you're like, and you say that stuff to me like I had a twin, please comment so people understand how quickly the divine can send somebody into your life where you're like, wow, I had a twin. Whatever. I'm not kidding. So who was that lady I was reading? There's the underworld. Who was that lady? I could have sworn it said the high priestess. That's very bizarre. I don't think there's two high priestesses in this deck. Um... That warrior. Guys, I could have sworn it was the high priestess. I, if somebody can go back and um, rewind and just label it because I don't see it anywhere. And I, I could have sworn. Where'd you just go? It just went away. I could have sworn it was the high priestess. So if you can go back and look. Okay. Um... Because now I, oh, it was the high priest. Okay, I was going to say, whoa, okay. But it's the same thing, male, f female energy. Um, I was like, what? Um, sorry, I got all distracted. Yeah, some things you're not going to have back and you're going to have brand new. But you're not going to have to sit through all that pain and discomfort and wonder why this person didn't come back. It won't be like that. They're just going to give it to you. Go say, here you go. Why? Because you deserve it. You've done healing. You've done all that. Like, all of a sudden, you, you have these feelings, okay? It's, it's going to go either way, all right? So, whatever comes your way, comes your way. Just let it happen, guys. Whether you got to say nay or yay. Let's get one more and wrap it up. I got stuff to do. Okay. This is talks about the brand new the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Whether it's, it's new or old, all right? To me, this is speaking of the old coming in, to be honest with you. I don't know why. Just the way this is looking at me, this is somebody who's about to take action because this is movement, okay? This is no matter what's happening in your life right now, new lover, old lover, past lover, here it comes. Here it comes. Why? Because it's written. It's written in the stars. You can't there's no way around it it will be forced whether it feels forced to you or not it is going to happen happen okay your health I didn't touch base on that either thank you your health if it was drastic, it is going to improve drastically with the Leo sun all of a sudden you can, you can be cured of XYZ Start eating the right stuff. I'm not playing. All of a sudden, you're just going to be burst of energy. Your immune system will be become healthier and more vibrant. Your, your chakras all of a sudden will be on blocks. So you'll be feeling more vulnerable. Just let it happen, guys. This weekend, people are coming in. News coming in. Olds coming in. Whether it doesn't or not, if they want to, if they want to avoid it. If they're having dreams of you, if they're feeling these feelings for you and, and they're not coming in, don't don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you purge all weekend, you purge all weekend. Purge. Because that means you needed to purge before this person to come in. But if you need to go to somebody, let it happen. Because it's going to be a very magical, comforting, compassionate purging weekend don't be afraid to be vulnerable in front of the other person this person that's coming in is going to be your person it's going to be forced and this person might not even feel forced or you might not even feel forced it might feel real natural natural because it's it's part of your plan all right it's 
Or this person can come in like a beast and be a complete dick because they feel forced. Or a complete douchebag because they feel forced. That's the one that's getting pushed out anyway. So let them come in. Let them speak their piece. Okay? But this is this is a good force because look what's underneath. The lovers. Alright? So if this person chooses not to, then they don't get you. And then guess what? They get that suffering. They get that bondage feeling. Okay? There's, there's no, everything I talked about, it's just coming in the card so you guys can see, okay? Some of you will feel forced and some of you will not. It just depends on how you can react and how you can be an adult about things and have these adult conversations and, and follow your path. Plain and simple. Don't forget when you're meditating. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Don't forget when you're meditating too. And when you come out of meditation and before meditation, you're grounding yourself. You're giving thanks. You're, you're showing your appreciation. Don't forget. Because things right now, I'm telling you, wait, they um freaking manifesting just like that. Somebody comes into your life, you let them come into your life. If it feels right, then you just, you don't, it doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. It is time where programming is crashing. It's breaking down. It's all those little things in your head are floating. They're going away, going away. It's, it's going to be comfort zone. It's going to be happy. You might still have to go through some purging. It just depends on how it's breaking down for you, okay? So, gosh, I, you know me. I can go and go and go and go, but um, enough's enough, okay? My phone's going nuts. I got lots to do. Enjoy, enjoy the new beginnings, guys. Like, for realsies. Like, cheers to the new beginnings. Um, just let, let this flow of energy flow in the direction it's supposed to. Okay. Don't, don't force it. Um, cause the things that are being forced won't really feel forced if that makes sense and, and others it will. Okay. And you will know how to deal with that when it's time for you to deal with it. Okay. But, um, spend time with friends, family. I know a lot of people are like in isolation right now, solitude, which is which is nice, but you also have to let things flow. Let things just come in. Okay. Um I know the energy is really is is it's going to be purging. Make sure you do moon moon rituals. If you do moon rituals, make sure you call in Mama Earth, okay? Mama Moon. Um, don't leave her out. Don't leave the ethers out. Um, saging, cleansing, detoxifying. We didn't really talk about too, too much. You can do that through crystals. You can do that through plants. You can do it through a lot of things. Research. Google is great for that type of stuff. Um, if it comes in, it comes in. Let it come in. It's going to go a lot smoother than you think it is. Okay. Don't feel the need to reach out necessarily and apologize for certain things. You never should apologize for certain things because those were all lessons learned. If you have the opportunity to apologize in person, apologize in person. Forgive yourself. Um, lessons learned. It is what it is. If you feel the need that you do need to apologize to somebody, go ahead and do it. I was a wicked bitch the other day. Out of the blue. And then I owed somebody an apology and I apologized. All right. But that that's for a different scenario. Okay. Don't ever apologize for loving. Don't ever, you know, things like that. But you know if you've been a little obsessive and things like that, own up to that shit, back away from it, and move on. Okay. I, I think this energy is kind of going to force that out of you anyway. Okay. Because of where you're stepping into. But um, lessons learned. If you have an opportunity to talk to somebody about it, hash it out. Move forward. Will they end up together or not? Um, purging is going to be huge. Flow of abundance is coming your way. Or the flow of a shit show is coming your way. It's whatever you signed up for. You can change your destiny, guys. You can alter it a little bit, okay? Um, so for those who have a bad... Talk to your angels, you guys, whomever you talk to, okay? Um, some you just can't avoid, but then for those ones who don't, for those are the ones that realize things are going shitty, things like that, those are the ones where you can alter, okay? Um, those are the ones who just don't give a flying rat's ass and they just dwindle. 
then they're just they're gone poof just like that okay um we connect with friends family it, it's just that energy okay it's it's a lot i'm slowly gonna break down different things for you discuss different things for you okay i love you guys i've been on here for what Ooh, an hour right now it's just 59 59 that 59 59 just stood out big time so let me just let me just give a little sneak peek behind that it is about completions and changes I'll tell you that but let's see let's see what it wants to really break down to the combination of five and nine repeating is an indication of sweeping changes and endings your angels ask you to let go of the old and know that it has served a, a, an importance function during time time for you but that time now has passed the angels want you to know that it's, it's a new time it's about new entering your life so ask so ask yourself let the old go and lead with love that's so important because i was talking about letting everything go that we just talked about and and being in that leo energy being smart enough distinguishing between the the weak and the strong okay those who are brave enough to plant those seeds seeds and being courageous and stepping in and, and going after what you wanted, if that other person or situation ship doesn't show up, you bet your ass within days something brand new will. Those seeds will flourish. They will grow. I promise you that. <laughs> I got the goosebumps. I'm not playing with you. That's how it works, okay? So congratulations for those who are brave enough who planted those type of seeds, okay? Um, but they just want you to know that that news is about to enter. And ask you to get rid of the old, but let it go with love too. Okay, let that, let the compassion, let it go. Okay, it's just gonna happen naturally. I don't even need to get into it. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day, fantastic weekend. Um, I'll be back here and there. I might even be back today. Okay, but um, this is an important read. There was a lot. There was a lot. Even though I jump, I'm a jumper. I'm a jumper. I'm a believer. I just thought a Shrek. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to pull you one card. One card. The most important thing they want you to know. Okay. That just flew out. I'm going to put it back in though. Detachment. That was the first one when I used this deck last week. Um... Oh, it was midweek. Oh, now what? Can't tell. It's like, it's just ready to go. Give me that one card. Most important message. What do you want us to realize? What is this? What is this? Damn. Same shit. Okay. It's important. It's important. And the other one that won't go in. Oh, there's two of them. The Nine of Pens, here's your rewards, and here's the Knight of Cups, here's that new, here's that new coming in. But you can't stop it, it's written, it's written. A little nervous, a little, use that Leo, the lion, that encouragement, okay, that courageousness. You're going to be re re rewarded for it, but look at their eyes. It's not going to be an easy transformation, but it, I'm telling you, it will be so beneficial in the long run. I'm not playing. It's beautiful. But it's saying goodbye to the old and welcoming in the new. Do it with compassion. This is what this is. You're going to get rewarded for doing it the right way. Detach. Say goodbye. Okay? Go towards the new. Be understanding. Have that compassion of this energy. And you will be rewarded. Okay? It's beautiful. I love you guys. Truly, 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 truly love you guys. To pieces. To bits a bit all right so cheers to new beginnings and i'm not playing this is this is that i've been saying that for a very long time for years and i've been having new beginnings throughout the whole year but i'll never stop saying it because it, life is your life is is constantly altering for a reason and it's a beautiful beautiful altar set up an altar it will change your energy. It will shift your energy in your house, too. Set up an altar, okay? I love you guys so much. Bye.